Hi, it's Sue again, and I'm here to talk about simple, easy movements for a happy, healthy spine. And these movements can be done in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening before bed. Uh, they're not hard, but they're really, really wonderful for your back health. First of all, I want to mention that our spine basically does six movement patterns. It does flexion where it rounds, which is typically how we sit, not necessarily the healthiest thing. And it does extension where we kind of do a back bend kind of motion. It does right and left twisting. And it does a lateral movement from side to side. Those are six ranges of, the, of motion that the spine does throughout the day or really could do throughout the day. When we're sitting a lot in chairs, in cars, in front of our computers, we tend to be in this flexed position too long. And you can see what that did in my body. It closed the whole front of my body. So when I'm sitting on the floor, if my hips are tight, which I am, my knees are moving up and I'm in a little mild flexion here, and it's hard for me to sit. This is why we use a yoga blanket. So I like to do it in thirds. That's how my training was, um, has taught me to do that. And you get behind it. Now just watch when I sit up on it. Is that all right? And my legs relaxed. Do you see how that's now relaxed? This is now open. And my spine is now in what we call neutral. If we live in neutral most of the time with the six ranges of motion, our spine will be happy and healthy. And it's simple. Make sure you sit up, make sure your spine feels neutral when you're sitting, and then I'm gonna show you the different positions that you can do at night or in the morning. Simple practice. I'm gonna lie down off of the blanket. All right, knees bent always. And so if you want a nice twist, that's safe and simple. You just let your knees just gently move from one side to the other. It's not a hard action. If it doesn't feel comfortable with your legs apart, bring them together. You can always start with them together and then move them apart as you start to feel more relaxed. If you have tension in your lower back, this is a really key thing to do. So three, four, five times, however that feels good to you. The next one is going to Work on that flexion piece, and all you're going to do is bring your knees to your chest. And by pulling the knees to the chest, you create that flexion in that lower back, which usually feels amazing. You can hold it. You can do one leg at a time, whatever feels good to you. The last one is a simple hip lift, which will take our spine into that extension. Now, I'm not lifting very far. I'm maybe a couple inches off the floor. That's all you need to do. You don't have to go up really high. And you can lower the hips and then do it again. And maybe if you do it more than once or twice, the back will start to release. I personally today have some tension in my lower back. And most people would think this is not a healthy thing to do for your lower back, but it's one of the healthiest things to do for your lower back. And it feels good for me to do that. So I'm going to just do it one more time. <laughs> All right. And so that's it. Sitting well six ranges of motion for the spine, the simple knee twist, the simple knee to chest, and the simple hip lift. I hope you enjoy those. Thank you for watching. And again, please click the subscribe button and let me know how you do. I'd love to hear it. Have a great day.